What's up, everybody? It's your boy, two-time Olympic high jumper, Jamie Nieto. Now, on my journey as a world-class athlete, I met some new and interesting people. And I had a chance to hang out with some old friends as well. I had a chance to sit down and talk to them about, what else, track and field, get some inspirational words from them, and also figure out what else they're into. So sit back, relax, and check out my show called Holla at your boy, let's go. This week on Holla at your boy, my guy, Blake Leeper. Tell me about your experience at the Paralympic Games in London. Yeah, um, well the Paralympic Games is my first one, so I didn't really know what to expect, uh, but walking into the stadium, and seeing that it was sold out every every time I went to the stadium, 80,000 people. Um, it was a really great experience. Looking back to where I come from, I've never expect to have 80,000 people yelling my name. So just being in that Olympic atmosphere was just truly amazing. It's a, it's a feeling that I would never forget for the rest of my life. Do you have any advice or uh, inspirational words for future Paralympians? Yeah, just um, I mean, just let them know that a lot of us have a lot of disabilities in this world. And um, just to tell them that just because you have a disability, that you accomplish anything in life. Don't let it slow you down. Don't let it hinder you back. That um, if you have any goals, you can go get it. The day I was born, the doctor said I would never walk a day in my life. And now I'm here running for my country, running around the world in front of millions and millions of people. So just to let you know that anything is possible with the right mindset and a good work ethic. What do you think makes you so fast? <laughs> I want to say it's genetics, but uh, what makes me so fast is not my father, not my mother, because they're really slow. <laughs> but um, I really think it's my blades. Uh, my running blades, I run on the, the Cheetah Osa blades. Um, it's all carbon fiber. Uh, I just got these three years, three years ago. I've been running, running prosthetics my whole life, but I wasn't able to hit the speed I was able to hit until I got these blades right here, which is, you understand the curve right there. The energy return on them is almost about 90 to 92 percent. So as the race go prolongs, it's hard for me to lose my energy just as much as I'm giving back. So um, that allowed me to uh, medal this past London Games and obtain the world record in uh, 100 meters with 10.91 seconds. Um, I was actually the third uh, MPT ever to go under 11 seconds, so which is a really great accomplishment. Um, I really want to take it to the next level. Um, new technology is coming out each and every year, which is really exciting. So hopefully. A couple years down the road, you guys will see me in Rio running e even more faster. What else are you into besides Paralympics and track and field? I'm into a lot of stuff. Um, I love playing basketball. That's my, that's my main love. I love doing it. Um, I love going to the court, playing basketball, hanging out with friends, going to the movies, PS3. Uh, I'm, I'm a king at 2K13, so anybody who want to challenge me, just let me know. <laughs> but uh, that's basically it. I love playing low-key. And I'm just really thinking about how I want to better myself on the track. So a lot, for a lot of people that don't understand, you put the work on the track, but you got to put the work off the track as well. And you got to think, how am I going to better myself the next day I step on the track? And that's the mindset. So it's a lot of just looking at my old races, focusing, writing a lot of notes down, studying all other people's races, trying to get better each and every day so I can get better ready for 2016. This is Blake Lieber, um, two-time medalist at the Paralympic Games 2012, silver in the 400, bronze in the 200, and world record holder in the 100 meters. And check me out and check out Jamie Nieto at jamienieto.com. And I'll just holler at your boy. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, and make sure you guys come back next week for another Holla at Your Boy. Peace.